to send the yarn in before the <laughs> oh. Welcome back to Fiber by Nature. Today we are going to be talking about all the stuff that I got at Maryland Sheep and Wool. So let's get started. Okay, so for starters, I competed in two competitions like last year, as always. Uh, so the first one uh, is the Skin and Garment competition. I submitted a Jacob skein. This, here it is. It was spun on a spindle. I carded it myself. I also washed it, and it won the blue ribbon for the champion junior exhibitor for, I believe, spindle, best spindle spun skein, something like that. Um, and then, so that was, you sent it in before, and then at the actual festival, I competed in a junior spinning competition, which is where you spin for 10-ish minutes, and they judge your yarn. I won first place for longest. Uh, they have a bunch of different categories, which is nice, um, but I won first place for longest, so that was exciting. So, for the actual purchases, um... And for prizes for the junior spinning competition, my friend Sarah uh, from Gringo Ranch, I'll link her in the description, like most of the other people that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, she was the donator of the prizes, or she was the person who donated all the prizes. And this was what I got. It's one of her batlings, some dyed locks, and a little bit of roving, which is super nice. And I absolutely love how all the colors go together. That was nice. And from Sarah, she, she's been saving something for me for a couple months now. It's this little batling. Uh, it's based off of the game Animal Crossing, if any of you guys are uh, into that. Uh, she has a whole line or collection of different uh, batlings that are based off of the villagers. And I got one based off of Ion. It's made out of Rambouillet wool and faux cashmere. It's blue and white, which are, blue is my favorite color, so I can't wait to spin it. And then, that, and then right like before the festival even started, cause I was there with a vendor, um, one of the people, that was vending next to us had these absolutely amazing Turkish spindles with 50th anniversary and Maryland should be more written on them or engraved on them. And I just had to get one. They're only 15, I got the eighth one. So here's a little up close of what it is. So this was the Maryland Sheep and Wool 50th anniversary spindle. So that was cool. And then, obviously, because I had to get spinning fiber, I got some airy silk. And I might spin it on the spindle. We'll see. But this is red airy silk. It is naturally red. It is so cool, and I've been wanting some for so long now. It's not, like I said, it's naturally red. It's not dyed or anything. And... I just love experimenting with different kind of fibers, especially silk. Silk's my favorite. All my friends know me as the silk guy. <laughs> so here's a little up close of it. Um, it's more of an orange, but it's still very cool in color, and I can't wait to spin it. On the topic of silk, I also get uh, my friend, ever so kindly, bought me four ounces of. Tesla silk. This is also, this is a different type of silk, but this is also naturally a different color than mulberry silk, which is your classic white uh, silk that we all know and love. Uh, so this is Tesla silk, and I've spun it before, I loved it, but I only had the smallest portion of it, so the bigger portion is nice. So here's up close. 
like a um, tan-ish champagne color, if you want to call it. And then, up next, we have these two little one-ounce samplers of Ramadil CVM. These are uh, part of the Shave and Save and program, which basically is part of the Livestock Conservancy organization uh, that basically works to save livestock in general, but this specific program that they run uh, works to protect different kind of sheep breeds. Uh, so these are two little naturally dyed Ramadel CVM uh, samplers from Belair Orchards. I will definitely link them down below. I buy something from them last year, uh, and they're super sweet. Uh, they gifted me two more uh, balls of these, and um, yeah, they're, like I said before, naturally dyed, and I can't wait to spin them. And then I also got this little uh, sampler of Remy. It is a plant fiber that comes from Asia, I think Korea, China, and Japan. Uh, my friend Anne from Ben, from Millbrook Fiber, sorry, in uh, Benminster, New Jersey, uh, had this little sampler of metal uh, top, and I thought I'd try it out. I've been wanting to spin it for a long time, so I figured I'd try it. Then, last but not least, I just got some plain cotton, oh, plain cotton fiber. I need some more, and I can't wait to spin it. I might have some left, I'm not sure. And then, last but definitely not least, my very last thing. Silkworms. Yep. I got silkworms. This lady was handing out live silkworms, sorry. These are all cocooned and they're transforming into their moth form. She was giving them out and I just had to get some. So that's definitely gonna be a topic that you'll see on my channel a lot. Isn't it cool? So that pretty much concludes my Maryland sheep and wool trip. I hope you enjoyed the actual vlog and this little haul video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>